guys, Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here, and we are continuing on with the style type series. If you're new to this series, we are going through different style types every week until we find your style. This is all about you. No, seriously, there are a multitude of different style types that I'm reviewing. If this one's not your style, check out one of the other ones. If those aren't your style, combine two styles together. Personal style is all about what you look and feel most comfortable in, and these style type videos are meant to help guide you to make shopping and getting dressed a little bit easier. So today's style type is what I call the polished professional. Now, if you've been following the series, you may have seen another style type called the corporate cutie. So how do these differ? These differ because the polished professional doesn't have to be as buttoned up as the corporate cutie. Polished professional wants to be taken seriously, wants to come off as strong, powerful, in charge at the workplace, but she may not work in a corporate environment. She may work in a creative professional environment. She may be an entrepreneur with her own business and has to go on different meetings and speak at organizations. You have a little more freedom when it comes to this type of style. Now, when I think of corporate cutie, I think of like Claire Underwood from House of Cards. When I think of polished professional, I would think of Victoria Beckham, right? She's a total girl boss, but she's fashion forward and she's got a little more flexibility when it comes to her style. So we're gonna go through a couple of looks that I pulled together that to me speak to the polished professional look. As we go through them, I'll share some different brands and some different things to look for when you're shopping for yourself as a polished professional. So first up is this dress by Acne. And I think this dress is really great because it's black and white. So this color palette is really nice for a professional environment. It's completely covered up with the long sleeves, nips in at the waist, so it's super flattering. But it looks a little bit more interesting than say your basic work dress. We've got this like cool paneling, these cool seams and cuts. So this makes for a really polished, put together look. This is one of my favorite dresses. What else we got here? Oh, let's move back here before we go over there. Okay, so everyone loves just a great pair of work trousers. These are Stella McCartney. Beautiful, you know, fitted towards the top, wider leg at the bottom, great staple for work. Polished professional could easily tuck in a simple white blouse. Which one's this? David Lerner found this puppy at Nordstrom Rack. Tuck that in, beautiful. You could do this with a black pencil skirt. You could even do a leather pencil skirt. Now, if you wanna take it to the next level, because it's a little boring, right? We could do an exciting shoe or I love a white on white combo. Now this could be a little too, you know, pimp for the corporate world, but for a creative professional world, a white blazer with a white blouse underneath, totally chic. Leopard print shoe, even keep it monochromatic with, you know, a black pump, white on the top, black on the bottom. Very polished, very professional. I'm actually a big fan of this blazer as well. This is from Zara. And sometimes you really score with the Zara on the fit. It's kind of stretchy, it's very comfortable. So you can be polished and professional on a budget too. A couple other jackets. This Veronica Beard is really fun. It also has an evening feel to it, which I think is perfect for taking your work look to maybe drinks after, or maybe you're taking a client out to an important dinner or a cocktail hour. So you're still appropriate for social and you're appropriate for work. You're still coming off professional, even though you might not be at the office, you might just be out for drinks or out at a nice dinner. So a little jacket like this is a really great thing to have 
in your closet. And then you've probably seen this one on me before, this Chanel jacket. So it's interesting, it's fitted, it's still professional, but in a creative way. So wear this with a pair of fitted black pants, great pair of shoes. You are totally giving off boss without being like super stale and corporate. So look for interesting things like this as well. Keeping it in a neutral color also helps keep it really professional. If this was like hot pink, it probably still could work actually, and it might be really cute, but it might make you feel a little uncomfortable, so keeping it neutral is really helpful. Then there's a dress like this. So when we talked about the corporate looks, we discussed how wearing things sleeveless could be a little inappropriate. They might not fit with the dress code, but a polished professional, usually she's in a creative environment or her own boss and sleeveless is totally okay. So this Stella McCartney dress, it's you know knit, it's comfortable, and the general silhouette of it is still very polished and very professional. So something like this would be a really good option as well. And then down here, some shoes. Manolo Blahniks, great staple for the polished professional. And you know, these are a little bit sexy. They've got a cutout, so maybe this wouldn't work if you were the corporate cutie, but for a polished professional, you can get away with a little professional sexiness, which I think these give off. And it doesn't have to be all pumps. You guys know that I love a pointy toe pump, but you could even rock a little booty with a professional outfit as well. Like you could take a little dress and wear a cute booty. It's got a closed toe, it's black, we've got this metallic snake skin on the back, so it's very boss. Profile, <laughs> profile. Professional polished women are bosses and they can wear things that make a statement. Wear things that people would be like, whoa, where'd you get that? It's a conversation starter and sometimes those conversations can end up closing business deals. So what you wear when you're a professional is very important. So don't be afraid to make a statement. So that is the jam for my polished professional ladies out there. I hope that video was helpful. Remember to make all of this your own. Think about what elements you can take from my suggestions and translate them into your own closet. If this wasn't your style type, there are still more to come. So stay tuned or go backwards and check out some of the other videos in the series until you find a style that works for you. I will catch you in the next video.